Hello, what's up everybody? This is Onka from Sinodeg and today I'll be showing you guys how to dual boot the Galaxy S4, the GTI 9500 international of support topo version. So, so, three things you'll be needing to dual boot the S4. That is a uh, ROM switcher application, a rooted Galaxy S4 and you need to have the Busybook, Busybox installed on your S4. So, I'll put down the link in the description below for downloading the ROM switcher application. When you install the ROM, ROM switcher application, you'll have to install the whatever tools it asks you to download and then you can reboot into the recovery and just go ahead and install the ROM so let's just go ahead and check out how the things work so let's check out how the it looks practically so we'll first open the ROM switcher application as you can see installation and everything the current version 2.4.1 so and download the configuration and download tools files Well now, <clears throat> well now reboot into the recovery. Here we go. We are booted into the ROM switcher recovery, which is uh, CWM based recovery. So let's go. Oops, sorry. Going back. Uh, I must have messed it up again. We have to go into the ROM switcher section and then select ROM2 and then wipe data of ROM2 just for being sure that every zip file is successfully flashed. Wipe cache of ROM2 and then go ahead and install zip from SD card. Choose the zip wherever you have stored on the SD card. Choose the in my case I am choosing the AOGP ROM for the i9500. Select yes and it will start flashing the ROM. We'll get back when the ROM is installed. One more thing, we should have at least one GB of space on the internal SD card as AOSP is require a 600 or 640 MB of space now flashing the Google Apps for the ROM now done and select reboot to ROM and hence we reboot to ROM too as you can see we have successfully booted onto the second ROM that is AOGP ROM so guys make sure you like and subscribe the channel if you like the video and click subscribe button and comment in the comment section below what ROMs and what tweaks and tricks you want to see on the S4. As you can see the ROM switcher application is pre-installed on this ROM and if you want to go back to the ROM you can just select the ROM switcher app and go back to the ROM 1 and you can see it's a AOGP ROM weekly build for the i9500 thanks for watching